Hello everyone! In this tutorial I will be demonstrating how you can integrate WISE into Unity 5. Audio Kinetic just released uh, the latest integration package and in my view now it's easier than ever to integrate WISE into Unity. And for this tutorial video I will be using a Unity project called Rollable. And you can either create this project by following along uh, the tutorials on the Unity 3D website or there are actually a few resources that you can use to download the finished project. And you can find everything you need and the links in the description. So now let's fire up Unity and let's get started. So in Unity, uh, you will get an option to either create a new project or open other, and I will be opening this already finished project. And uh, this project was actually done in Unity 4. So yes, I will be upgrading it to Unity 5 because it works smoothly. And yes, finish updating. And I would like to use the actually default layout for this. So we'll change that. Okay. Now our Unity project is already all set up, but uh, we don't have the WISE package integrated yet. It's not imported as an asset. And I'm actually going to do this after I create a new WISE project uh, to use with the Unity game. So, and I already have the folder and I'm actually going to copy and paste that on the root of the Unity project. And it is not advised to put the project on the assets folder, but you can put it in the root folder of your Unity project. And after that, now I'm going to import the package. Yes, we're choosing custom package and then going to directory. Yes. And now it's going to, yes, you, you, you want to choose all and then import it into the project. And it's all important. Now, if it's working correctly, you should actually get the Y setup window. If you don't get that after you imported the package, that there is a possibility that your integration package is for a different platform than your build settings, as it is in this case. So now I will change it to Windows, and yes, we get to Y setup. And as you can see, it already found the project, Wise project I created. The sound bank path, everything is just already in place, and we will start the installation now. And then, of course, you get this great informative document about the whole integration process. So make sure to check that out if you have, you know, additional questions about things. Okay, as you can see now in the WISE picker window, uh, we are already seeing the project. And, but there isn't anything on it because I wanted to create that from scratch as well for this tutorial. Now there there is only this empty project on WISE. And now let's open that up and start creating some sounds to use with our demo project. So for this, I will be uh, creating a sound object, but I will just import a single note, a single uh, vibraphone note to use it in the first place. You can either use Shift I or uh, in this case, I just dragged and dropped it from my browser. And there we are. It's E4 on the vibraphone. Yes. Working. It's a little bit loud. Yes. Uh, 
Okay, seems to be working correctly. And now we want to create an event to attach this sound to. And I will be creating an event called ball hit. And then you want to add your sound to this event. So it will trigger it. And yes, you can just drag and drop it and it will play the sound. Now going to the sound bank because we want to generate our sound bank uh, to use in Unity. I'll just name it main. And then you want to put your event on the sound bank as well. Let's just drag and drop. And yes, you want to choose the correct platform for it. And then you're just going to generate the sound bank and Unity will just automatically see it. Most of the time, uh, you don't even need to refresh the project on the Unity window. As you can see, it automatically sees the event and sound banks. There's your event, ball hit, and there's a sound bank. My sound bank. Okay. So now, uh, what we want to do is first, I'm going to put the main sound bank to the player object, player controller, as you can see, player object. Yes. And there it is, and it will load on start. And I don't want it to unload on destroy. So I disable that. And then with the pickups, I'm just going to drag and drop the ball hit to all the pickup objects. And right now they're triggering on start and it's problematic because as you can hear, yes, it automatically starts the sound before you hit anything. And we want the sound to trigger when we actually hit and destroy the pickups. So first of all, I don't want it to load the main sound bank on start. I, I want it to load synchronously. And for the pickups, I want them to trigger on trigger enter instead of on start. So let's try it this way. And now, as you can hear, it triggers when you hit the pickups instead of on start. And that's it for the first part of the tutorial. In the second part, I will be creating a music playlist and use MIDI clips to create a very, very basic musical structure um, for this project. So hope you enjoyed this and found it informative. And thanks for watching.